can you believe it's been five months since the initial release of Copilot Notebooks? And five months in the world of tech can be a very long time indeed. And that's why Microsoft are now releasing a whole new range of updates right inside of Copilot Notebooks. And we've been given an exclusive preview of these new changes. And today we're going to be trying them out, showing you the new experiences right inside of Copilot Notebooks. And that will now include a new way to work with your notebooks and even better, share them with your colleagues. And before we dive in to check out these new capabilities, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to find more great content just like this, as well as a like button to let me know that this content has helped you out. So let's head now into Copilot Notebooks and find out what's new. So let's start off with the new homepage for Copilot Notebooks. At the top of the screen, we have a new section called Recommended. Now you may think that these notebooks here already exist, but actually in fact, it's Copilot Notebooks recommending that a notebook could be created to bring these materials together. For example, Project Green Space Funding and Investor Pack does not exist right now as a Copilot Notebook, but we can see there are five references. By left clicking into this option here, We'll now see that Copilot Notebooks begins to bring the content together and then create a new notebook with those references it already identified, now bringing us a new collaboration space in Copilot Notebooks. And we now see that our new notebook has now been created. Interestingly now, the new notebooks experience also includes a default homepage, which is an AI generated overview of the notebook itself. We can see that here. It summarizes the content in the notebook and provides key insights. This overview page is also loaded and refreshed every time we access the notebook. So any new content that goes into the notebook will also be summarized on a new overview page, much like what we saw before in some of the capabilities inside of Microsoft Loop. So we're already seeing some big changes in the ways that we can create a brand new notebook. But let's also access an existing notebook. That's now found in a drop down on the left hand side. Allow me to open our Project Green Space Copilot Notebook. Once again, we see our overview of the notebook itself, summarizing the content and the key insights. In the left hand side, we also see a new change to the navigation bar. We see here all of our Copilot pages that we've created right inside of this notebook. And we can left click into these to see the content on the page. But what if we also wanted to interact with this content? Well, on the right hand side, you'll now see the Copilot sidebar for Copilot Chat is already present and loaded. Here we can give Copilot a question that can either interact with our notebook or specifically this page itself. Let's go ahead and ask Copilot Chat to summarize this page for us. And as we can see on the right hand side, we get an answer back from our Copilot Chat experience. And much like we've seen before, we can add these straight into our Copilot notebook. Any responses in this chat window can be either added to a brand new Copilot page, or instead, they could also be added to an existing Copilot page. So this Copilot chat experience on the right is now the new way to navigate through your own Copilot notebook. Also on the left hand side, we'll see a new references section. What we can also do is expand this here and see that we've now brought in a range of Word documents and PowerPoints all relating to our project. This is really easy to do. Click on the Add References button, simply point to files or SharePoint sites or even web links too and bring them straight into your Copilot notebook to be used as part of its references and knowledge. But also we can see a new capability here. There's now the ability to have suggested references. As you work with these Copilot pages here that we've created through Copilot Chat, or your notebook will now recommend adding them into the notebook itself as a knowledge source. For example, we could go ahead and select the community engagement plan and click on the plus button to now add it as a reference into our own Copilot notebook. So yes, you'll now get recommended content to be added into your notebook as well. So we can see here some big changes already. The new way to work with our pages, the Copilot chat experience too, but there's also new changes as well happening right inside of this page. The first scenario is what can often happen in a Copilot notebook is accidentally deleting content. And they need to restore it later. Let's go ahead and delete these two sections of the document. And we can see now that, that change has been immediately committed. But how can we now restore our change really easily inside of our Copilot page? 
Well, at the top, you'll see these navigation buttons here. They look like it's gonna be like a back button on a browser, but instead it allows us to go back to the previous version of the Copilot page. Left click, and we'll now see we're taken to the past version, including the two sections I deleted from that Copilot page. If I wanted now to restore it, I'll go to the bottom and select restore version. And that change has now been restored in our Copilot page. And there's also a couple of other changes in our Copilot page. The first is we can highlight content right inside of the page and select ask Copilot. This now brings up our Copilot box here that we can fill in a prompt, which is then sent over to our Copilot chat window to change content right inside of the Copilot page. Also near the bottom of our page here, we'll see a new option for Copilot shortcuts. Left click this option and we can now go ahead and adjust the content, add details, make it shorter, change to an email, change to a blog post, change the tone of the content on the page and even change the layout, adding section headers, conclusions and introductions right from this new button for Copilot shortcuts inside of your Copilot page. So we're already seeing lots of changes here the way that Copilot pages work right inside of our notebook too. But where are the couple of options that we worked before with Copilot notebooks? Because they don't seem to be present here anymore. The first option is custom instructions. Well, we'll now see them under our notebooks on the left hand side, Copilot instructions. And here's where we can now give Copilot custom instructions in how Copilot should respond to any of our questions that we ask it right inside of our notebook. I'll now go ahead and add in some of our custom instructions. And now they've been added, we'll go ahead and click on save. So that change will now interact with Copilot, giving us the different custom instructions for any of our different queries. Also, where is audio overviews? Well, on the left hand side here, under the plus button next to created content, we can now create an audio overview right from here. By selecting audio overview, we also see a new change. Previously, it was always a dialogue. It would have two people talking about the content in your notebook, but now you can go ahead and change its generation and choose an individual speaker so you can listen back to in your Copilot notebook. Change the style to professional or casual and a duration. We can even provide additional customizations to focus this on a particular point, which again can really help if you're only interested maybe in the community engagement strategy. So I'm gonna ask, Copilot to focus on that particular point and then generate an audio for us to play back. So whilst our audio overview is now generating, it's a great opportunity to let you know how you can improve the way that you work with Microsoft Copilot and Microsoft 365. Because at your 365 coach, we've got years of experience working with these apps and we put all of our knowledge and learning straight into our learning academy. So you can get access to our academy today and access hundreds of learning tutorials that explain how to use SharePoint, Teams, Copilot, Planner and more and improve your skills not only today but for the future too. So you can find out more by the link below and get enrolled in our academy today. And now let's head back into Copilot Notebooks and check out that audio overview. And that audio overview is now ready. Let's go ahead and click on play to play this back community engagement, especially as it relates to urban projects like Project Green Space. So let's set the scene. A bunch of different documents and presentations, all focused on making city spaces better, greener, and more people friendly. So as you can see, pretty similar capability, but now there's a new option here to customize it as well. If we're not happy with that audio overview, we can select this button and simply customize it once again to meet our particular needs. We can also, as was possible in the previous version of Copilot Notebooks, select the freed up menu and save to OneDrive or even delete the audio overview straight from within our notebook. But getting back to these audio overviews has always been tricky. So how can we get back to them in this newer version of Notebooks? Well, on the left hand side, I'll go ahead and expand our references. And we can see here the audio overview is now showing as a created piece of content right inside of our notebook. Left click into it, as we can see, it appears ready to play back as well. And alongside audio overviews is the ability to, to click into the plus icon and select study guide. This is a new capability in Copilot Notebooks, now allowing us to generate a summary of the notebook itself or topic pages that break down the different subject lines. 
Let's go ahead and select this option. Now all we now need to do is go ahead and click on Create Study Guide to begin creating our new study guide. And finally, here's the biggest change in this newer version of Copilot Notebooks. It's the ability to share your Copilot Notebooks with other individuals. Yes, that was a big problem in the first version of Copilot Notebooks. In the top left hand side, we can see account showing one and the ability to invite and manage members. Left clicking into it now allows us to input a name or an email address of the person we want to share it with. As you'll see here, the notebook itself can be shared with the content and links, but chats and audio overviews stay private to you only. So let's now go ahead and share our notebook. And with an account added, now I'll go ahead and select invite so I can share my notebook now with Kelly. And we can now see our notebook has been shared. We can also click in the drop down and remove an individual from a notebook. It could be you've invited the wrong person or they no longer need to have access. So as we can see here, we can also stay on top of those access rights by removing other individuals from your notebook too. So there you go, there's some big changes coming to Copilot Notebooks. So there you go, a first look at some new changes coming into Copilot Notebooks. And of course, these changes are subject to change and it may be a little bit of time before we actually see them inside of our own setups. But all of these changes are positive. The biggest one for me is being able to share a notebook with other people. I was pretty critical of that when notebooks were released. I thought it was a great opportunity to have a notebook for our own personal use. But then being able to share it with others was also crucial, which we simply just couldn't do. But now it will soon become available to us meaning notebooks will now become a collaborative place for us to work rather than an information silo. There's also other updates coming with study guides and improvements to the audio overviews. So there's a lot coming that will be able to improve the way that we work with our Copilot notebooks and our Copilot pages. But I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Which of these are most important to you when you're considering the future of Copilot notebooks? And of course, I'll come back to this in the future when Copilot Notebooks are fully released to see exactly what's new and how it all comes together. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you won't miss that tutorial and all the other tutorials that we put out every single week. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.